Hey everybody, this is Lucky Lad coming to you from Corgi Productions, and we are playing Max Payne. This is part two. We are starting from chapter two, playing it, or chapter three, playing at Bogart. Let's do this. All right. So last we were here, we just finished with the Finito brothers and their goons, and we are in the hotel. Let's see. Well, that's fun. Ox, ox. <sighs> More painkillers in case you didn't do so good against uh, the finitos. Ah, radio. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to get your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, well, let's see what we get. All right, well, oh, okay. Looks like we're going outside. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay in spades. Ah! Ah! Really? Do I have to shoot each one individually? Okay, the second one doesn't go off? Okay. Oh. And we are moving into Without Warning. Getting deeper and deeper into this hotel. Let's see what waits for us downstairs. Lots of doorways. Beds, more goons. All right, third floor. I believe Rico Muerte's room number was like 313 or something. On lords and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, in all days of doesn't move over, it just Lord, vibrates. Eat him if you got him. You can see here there's a syringes. This is the Valkyr drug, probably. Yes, my 
lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister! V had junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Junkies in this game always have some guns. They're just as bad as the actual criminals. Got them both. So far, we are having a nice, clean playthrough here. I just like turning on all the bads, just. I don't know, it's fun. It might kick back. for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. Another TV? Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. 15 minutes of fame, now our faces just plastered everywhere. And we just keep going deeper and deeper into it. The exit doors would be too simple, wouldn't it? Oh, a few hundred bullets back. We are just moving right along with this playthrough of Max Payne. You're gonna die. Never, never miss the junkies if you can, because they will shoot you in your back. A hundred percent of the time. Popular. Ooh, Molotov cocktail. 
Now those are fun. As long as you don't light yourself on fire. Wanted's room. I was right. Three thirteen. All right, Rico Muerte. Whoa! Nah, take it easy. Got him down. Muerte's room was booby trapped. The investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Point of no return is usually when you start shooting everybody. Ooh. Murta is just loaded on ammo. Guy takes no chances apparently. Gonna make him extra dangerous. Alright, well we're gonna go and see where these guys came from. Hell's just loaded with junkies. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. <laughs> Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Uh, making secret recordings of your clients. Yeah, it's probably enough to get you killed.
Elevators. Elevators are always good. And we are moving into chapter four, Caught in the Crossfire. We are just moving right along here today, guys. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. Basements, laundry rooms. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth. Ronnie and Jimbo to throw. And in the middle of all this, whack the sucker! This part has a lot more cutscenes than the first one. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. There have been snow from the start in the Valkyrie case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Sorry about that, guys. That's just my dog. Uh, his name is Loki. He is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the inspiration behind Corgi Productions. Got hit with a shotgun that time. So they gave us ammo for the Ingram, which is the machine gun, machine pistol in this game. But we don't have that gun yet. Can only hope we'll be getting it soon then. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bad Boy comic strip. Well, we'll take the baseball bat. It's better than just having the lead pipe, I guess. Extra weapons. That door's locked. Thing in here. That's Take vampire Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? What the fuck? Oh. A 
That could have been a lot worse. Overall, we did good. Get some more painkillers. Back to max health. Keep pushing forward through the kitchens. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. I think we're about to meet Rico. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss Muerte off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green eyed angels. Amen. I sure take a lot a of bullets. Ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. <laughs> there was a key on the table. Key to the bar. Okay. <laughs> the transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Dirty money. There's a lot of dirty money. I mean, we got washing machines downstairs. If it's dirty money, we can make it better. Another Molotov. Okay, there's our bar. Lots of pain pills. I'm gonna say we're gearing up for a fight. Let's go meet Rico. front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Ah, we caught Muerte with his pants down in the bar. There he is. I think we got that grenade a couple levels ago. Marte had the machine pistol. I heard that go off. We have it. It 
the blood veins of New York. Oh, it eats up ammo, but it is good. Try not to eat up all of our ammo for it, though. The antique switchboard was still in use. switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got nearly... This makes pain. It came, started capitals. He killed... was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Kind of an anti-hero. <laughs> Going to the club. <coughs> Hold it. Ah! Ah! We win? Do we win? We do not win. Rooftop. Okay, well this doesn't look good. This looks like an old time arena. Well, let's go play with the boys. There he is. Oh yeah, as soon as you hear that music. That's all? Gogmizi sent four guys to kill me? Taking out his entire team, he sends four guys. I think he'd know a little bit better by now. You know, you need a few more people to stop Max Payne. Well, let's get out of here. We are free from the hotel. Chapter 5, The Man Riding Shotgun. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Nope, never was smart. Those tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger-happy about it. 
Well, I'm pretty sure we all like being trigger happy. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. And of course, the Russian's license plate says vodka on the car. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. So Vladimir went straight for Jack Lupino's suite. Well, bet you he didn't get him, because that's usually the way these things work out for us. Well, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to ring that bell so you will stay up to date with all future notifications and uploads. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next one.